So here's a uh, warm-up unit as removed from the car. Now this is where the water flows at the bottom. Check the condition of this. This should be not corroded. If it is, you might be able to fix it with some uh, epoxy or something. Um, and this is the, the cone and the collar. And this is the top hat washer. So first we're going to move remove the uh, the top hat washer and then we're going to remove the collar. I use a special tool. Okay, so collar coming loose. And this is under spring pressure, so at the end it will just pop out. like that and inside the spring the cone and then the actuator is down there and the next job we've got to get that out there is a seal down there underneath that uh, shiny steel washer So first we've got to remove the collar, which is inside there. It should just slide out. Like that. It can only go in one way because it's got this uh, lump on the side here. Now to try and remove the washer. Here's a washer. Still stuck. The rubber is petrified. Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah. So this is the rubber seal and this is the, the actuator. So the parts are cleaned up. First thing we need to do is loosen this 2mm iron key in the side of the cone, about one turn undone, so that it's still not uh, proud of the, uh, of the cone itself. And then, holding the shaft with a pair of pliers, wind it up the thread a few turns. Okay, that's enough, we'll calibrate this later. So here's our new actuator, and that's first to go in. Then our new o-ring on top, the washer, the spacer, into its keyway, then the cone assembly, the spring, and then finally we have to assemble the collar on top with a bit of pressure.
Okay, uh, bowl of water at 30 degrees C. Drop the bottom half of the actuator in, uh, trying to make sure the water gets through the bottom part. Maybe top it up a little bit. And now we need to adjust the, the cone so that the cone lever just, the cone retaining plate just uh, slides in and out level with the surface of the, of the something like this so that's just sliding in and out and it's 31 degrees C now I'm going to heat it up to 60 degrees C and now tighten the grub screw ok so now the unit's calibrated we just need to put the top hat washer on and the nut on in a random place on here because we need to calibrate this once it's back on the car Okay, all set to refit to the car. Remember, you need a um, the plastic uh, pivot point uh, to be replaced in here. This is the the pivot for the throttle lever. So, the little plastic cup that goes in there is important and uh, needs to be replaced before this is fitted back to the car. That's it.